Hello everybody, it's Mario again. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the second video in a total of three for the Hocus Pocus limited edition dolls released by Disney Store. The first video that I worked on was Sarah. It's already available. You can go ahead and watch that if you haven't. And now you're watching Mary. We're gonna go ahead and take her out of the box um, so that we can just take a closer look at all of the details. This one is my favorite, not only because it includes Binks, the cat, but also because she's just so beautifully made. She's absolutely my favorite. And we'll discover her together in a minute. And of course, there's also Winifred, which at the time of me doing this, it's not up yet, but it will be soon, definitely by the time you watch them. So make sure you get all the links below. Um, and for more information on the dolls, really check out the Sarah video because I did a longer introduction there. The only thing that I didn't mention there was the release date for the USA, which was October 4th. Um, so that's really good that I gave you a lot of information there because now we have a shorter intro if I stop talking right now. So let's just go ahead and get started. First up, we have the box and the color of her box is burgundy. It says Hocus Pocus on the plastic right there. It's a really simple packaging. Again, it reminds me of the 17 inch limited edition dolls, just a square version of that, but it's really cool. Again, ages six and up, she has a moon on the top and the borders, I didn't mention this before, but the borders actually match up if you put the dolls next to each other. Really, really cool. Right here, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's some kind of food. <laughs> and then we have Binks the cat. It says Mary, limited edition doll, one out of 5,000. There's 5,000 of each um, witch. <laughs> the border is really cool. It goes off to the side. And again, the box has this scratched up burgundy look to it. And they all look the same, you know, just in different colors. Now on the back of the box, we have things. We have little stars, a skull right here, and that thing right there. I think it's a bone or something. I'm not too sure. Now for the description, it's in different languages. Go ahead and pause so you can read that if you like. And the retail price is not on the box, but the price is $129.99. So let's go ahead and take her out of the box. Um, just to show you where the certificate is. Again, very similar to the 17 inch limited edition dolls. I just noticed that the mic is picking up some weird noises. That's my puppy. I'm sorry, don't mind him. He's eating a bone and he's being noisy with it. <laughs> um, there you go, that's my certificate. That's actually a pretty low number for her. Really nice. Before we take Mary out of the box, I'd like to show you what she looks like in it. Um, just so that you can see the way that it's positioned and so you can appreciate it that way if you want to keep it in the box or not. I'm really taking these out because I just don't have enough space for all these boxes and they're easier to display when they're out of it, right? And they're so beautiful in and out, so it doesn't really uh, matter that much to me. The actual background for the box is so cool. They all have different ones. Hers is purple and blue and it's the Binna Sky. Binks is floating. Um, she's floating too, technically right? Because they put these things to lift them up and make them fill up the box. I love the black cutouts. Super, super beautiful display for these dolls, in my opinion. Here she is out of the box. And first up, I want to take a look at the accessories and then we can move on to her. First up, we have Binks. It's so cool that they included the cat. He's technically not an accessory or even their friend, but he's included here, which I very much appreciate. He is all black, made out of plastic. He has a really cool expression in his face. His mouth is open. His eyes are yellow. He is just adorable. Absolutely love him and the fact that it's included. Um, she also has her vacuum cleaner, <laughs> which is really cool. It comes with a rubber band, of course, like all accessories, right? So you can attach it to her hand securely. Uh, but she can actually hold on to it really nicely without having to use the rubber band. So if you don't want to, that's fine. Now the actual vacuum cleaner itself is all plastic. It's like hollow, right? Some parts are hollow, other parts are more like um, solid, but it's painted so well and the texture on it, it's done so, so good. Look at the actual cable uh, wrapped on there, the bag in the back. It's just awesome job. They did an awesome job. It looks so realistic, absolutely love it. I wish that it had actual wheels, but you know, that's just me being picky here, but I absolutely love it and the fact that it's included. So cool. Now we're taking a closer look at Mary's beautiful face. And this is one of the reasons why she's my favorite out of all of them. It's because they capture her face so well. 
you can definitely see the actress here. And we already went over the fact that they're not meant to look realistic, right? They're very cartoony. In a way, I think I'm going to call them Disney-fied, right? They're like Disney-fied Disney characters uh, made out of, you know, or inspired by humans. That's that's what I'm going to call them. But she has the rooted lashes, the thick eyebrows, kind of like a brown, almost natural um, eyeshadow with the red lips and the beauty mark. She has a little bit of blush as well. I just love how they capture the shape of her lips. It's uncanny, right, to, to the actress in the movie. Such an amazing job that they did here. Now we're moving on to the hairstyle, which is the most elaborate one that I've seen on a Disney doll so far. It's supposed to be messy. I mean, in the film, it's a mess, right? This is a more um, common collector version of that. <laughs> it's really cool. I also forgot to mention earlier that she has earrings, which they're made out of uh, metal with a big red stone in the middle. They're beautiful and really accurate to the film as well. Okay, so now back to the hair. On the back of her head, there's some loose hair as you can see there, and it's all really messy and just kind of all over the place, right? Um, I love the bangs, I love the loose hair. It's very realistic to a human and it's realistic to the style in the movie. This is what it looks like in the film. She has a braid on the side that wraps, that wraps the bun all around, all the way up to the top with a little plastic spider. I just love the fact that Disney didn't shy away and really try their best to capture this complicated hairstyle. Before I take her outfit off, I'd like to give you a look at what she looks like while she's wearing it because it's just really cool. It's a lot of pieces here that make up this look and they pulled it off perfectly in my opinion. I mean, this is of course a nicer version of what she wears in the film. You know, in the film it's more um, old and raggedy and just, it's a bunch of rags basically. So this is like a Disney-fied designer version. I told you I would use the word Disney-fied. Um, she has her hood and the cape, of course, which we'll remove, but I wanna show you what it looks like when you put it on her. It's really cool because it's the shape of her, of her hairstyle. And it's really easy to remove, to put on and off. You know, you just have this little plastic uh, clips there that you attach, super easy. It's made out of two fabrics. The inside is kind of like a see-through uh, burgundy-ish color and the outside is, I don't wanna necessarily say that it's orange. It's like a pumpkin spice latte, uh, autumn color. I'm not 100% sure what color this is. I also love the little mesh around the neck there. I'm not sure what that fabric is called, but each doll has it implemented in some way and it adds to that raggedy, out of the woods kind of look, right? Really, really love it. <laughs> here she is without her cape and she still looks super cool. There are a lot of layers and stuff going on here to make this outfit look as amazing as it does. She has this um, burgundy, <laughs> I got stuck there, has this burgundy uh, vest that's really nice with a gold a ribbon on it. It's super cool. We'll go ahead and remove it so you can take um, a closer look at it. I love the four metal rings hanging on there. Super, super nice. It's lined on the inside, I'm assuming, so that it doesn't stain uh, the fabric of the shirt. And now the shirt underneath on the website is called Silken Shirt with Embroidering Detailing. So the sleeves are embroidery. As you remove it, you also notice that it's padded um, just to kind of give the illusion that she is more plus size than she is because this is the same body as the Winnie doll, which you can see in that review. But yeah, they just made her more full by padding this outfit, which the skirt is also bigger to fit this padded outfit. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> now the actual silver necklace is attached to the shirt. It's just awesome. The fabric for this is also amazing. As you can see, the skirt is loose on her, again, because it's the same body as Winifred. Winifred, Winnie, whatever. And she has this paper just kind of to protect. Here's her stand. It's black and it's really simple. Um, I forgot to mention on my sour video, but they're all kind of the same plastic stand. Some taller, a little shorter, but pretty much the same thing. So here's the skirt. It's a plaid skirt with unfinished hems. And this really interesting, beautiful part here in the front is called the Golden Thread Lattice Tie. I don't know what that means but I absolutely love the fabric. It's so cool and I love the pockets. I also love that it has like a, you know, the hems are not sewn because it gives it that messy vintage look that we have in the actual film. It's just perfect. I love this skirt so much. They did a beautiful, beautiful job. It doesn't really lose a lot of fabric either if you shake it up. 
by the way, but I do love that it has little loose ends. Super pretty. So now we're taking a look at her body and the articulation. As I said earlier, these bodies were created just for her and Winifred. Hers looks different because the outfit was made uh, fuller with the padding, but it's the same complete bodies except for the hand sculpts. Those are new. As you can see, she has the rings painted on there. The articulation on the knees is different than Sarah because Sarah had Rapunzel's body. So this is the articulation for the other two witches, right? Winnie and Mary. <laughs> As you can see, she's wearing her boots. They are black, they're not painted. This is just the color of the, the rubber that they use, the plastic, really, really nice. As you can see, her ankles are a little bit loose here, but they have articulation, which is great. Love it. The shoes are super nice as well. And now, as I said, um, the size on the website says that they're about 11 inches tall, but as you can see next to like the designer dolls like Esmeralda and Giselle, you know, they all look very different, although most of them are called 11 inches tall, except for Alice, you know, she's smaller. But this hopefully gives you an idea of the size. All righty, everybody, so that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know what you think of Mary in the comments, and is she your favorite? I have seen that she's actually a lot of people's favorite, including mine, of course. So let me know what you think of her, and make sure that you check out the video for Sarah and Winnie. Again, thank you so much, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.